fights full scale war. Wow, was that a tank just being was that just like a tank just got wiped? Okay, is this is, did this tank just shoot something or it just got eliminated? I can't tell the difference. Sorry, I'm not experienced in war weaponry. So this tank either just shot something or it just got wiped out. Yeah, it looks like so I think based on my ex expertise, I think it was just wiped out. So, condolences to the, everybody inside. It's full scale war all over again. Trenches, tanks, air attacks. Air raid sirens wailed across the city as a barrage of rockets and mortars rained down. Azeri forces have been attacking Nagorno-Karabakh's main city, Stepanakert. Armenian men there have been signing up to fight back. Exact numbers are next to impossible to come by, but soldiers and civilians on both sides have been killed. Armenian forces have been attacking Azerbaijan. Whoa, guys, look at this. Imagine just walking down the street. And this happens. Look at this. You're just walking down your neighborhood. Hold on, look at this. Armenian forces. Look, you see this? You're just, everybody's just driving, shopping around. And then look over here, okay? God damn it, man. I've been attacking Azerbaijan wow. too. Do you see every, all the windows around also got shattered? Hold on. Forces have been attacking Azerbaijan Whoa. too. The border city of Ganja has been among the hardest hit. Look at this. Look at this hole here. God damn. Look at the aftermath. It's just like. Wow, look at this. Crazy. The second rocket hits uh, the, the other street, and uh, there are also two other wounded people over there. Oh my god, look at this guy. Look at this guy. First responder. He's like. Yeah, he, he's just had enough. Look at us. Look at his face. You can see the summary of what's happening on his face. God, look, look at these people. So how and why did the fighting start up again? The answer depends entirely on who you ask. Okay, no, the answer does not depend on who you ask. There's a right answer and there's a wrong answer. You could see like, we don't know who has the right answer, but you can't say the answer, okay. Maybe, no, actually, it's fine because she didn't say the right answer. The answer depends. Oh, no, no, I'm going to be okay. Yeah, it's fine. She said the right, the answer. She didn't say the right answer. Okay, okay. I'm not going to be as judgmental. Hold on. So how and why did the fighting start up again? The answer depends entirely on who you ask. Okay, fair point. I was being overly critical. She didn't say the right answer. It depends on who you ask. Armenia says Azerbaijan attacked first. Azerbaijan says it acted in self-defense. What's clear is that it's not exactly an even fight. Our colleagues at AJ Labs put together these infographics to show just how much more Azerbaijan spends on its military, how many more soldiers it has, and how much more artillery. Oh my god. Okay, this is war propaganda. But let's, before we go there, here, look at this. Azerbaijan has a lot more money to spend on the military, probably because they have oil money. But they also have more support. There are more countries supporting Azerbaijan. Like, yeah, like even though they have like Armenia is like the underdog. It's, you know, Arme like, here is, this, isn't this bizarre? Like Armenia is like the Christian side and Azerbaijan is like the Muslim side. You would think like, yeah, it's, we, I'm not saying it sh that should be a thing. You just, yeah, it just goes against everything that people just assume if they didn't know anything. Um, more countries are supporting Azerbaijan, and Azerbaijan has a lot more military spending. And Arme Armenia is like, again, I'm not saying Armenia is not doing any everything. I'm not, Armenia is doing a whole bunch. Of, Armenia, I'm not defending any side, okay? Because both of these, both of these sides have been, um coming down on civilians on the other side pretty heavily okay so you know screw both of them like azerbaijan has been civ you know bombing our civilians in armenia 
and Armenia has been bombing civilians in Azerbaijan. So both of these governments could go screw themselves. Artillery. <laughs> And the Azeris have been showing it off. This is an actual music video released by the Azeri military. The Armenians are rallying their people. This is pure nationalism. God damn it. And like this kind of like alpha male nationalism, we're strong, screw our enemy kind of th is so dangerous, guys. This is the stuff of nightmares. This is how you, ha this, is, this kind of stuff is how you get average civilians cheer on the death of other civilians because of power, because of strength, because of us against them. This is tribalism at display. This is people satisfying the desire to be the winners at the expense of other people's blood. This is, this is like, God damn it, man. This is the stuff of nightmare. Like, people see this and their dicks get hard. Whether they're male or female, their dicks get hard over this. And they're just like, when I see this stuff, like, I feel like people, like, you know, this is, this is, yeah, this is, this scares, this scares me. This stuff scares me because I know I, the, the desires that are being satisfied here comes at the expense of other people's bloods. Yeah, blood, bloodlust. Oof. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Let me see what you guys are saying. Yeah, the other guy looks shell shock. Yeah, you're right. Um. That music video is lit. Yeah, and that's a problem. That's scary. Here, British Pakistani atheist is saying, the end result of the humanization process is my profile pic. It's hard to see what it is in there. Ex-Muslim uh, Uzbek is saying, I thought more countries were supportive of Armenia, rightfully so. Even Iran is on Armenia's side. Traditionally, not here. Iran is usually on Armenia's side. Right now, it's on Azerbaijan's side, which is weird because Azeris are Shias. Only Turk, uh, Turkey is on Azeris' side. No, I thought. Nope, 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 nope. Right now, Israel is supporting Azerbaijan. Iran is supporting Azerbaijan, which was weird. Israel is supporting Azerbaijan, which is the Shia side. Um, so yeah, this is like this is ex-Muslim Uzbek. If you didn't know much about this conflict, this is what you're saying is what usually people would expect. But that's not how it's playing out right now. Like, who's Ar who's Armenia's ally in this conflict? Like, who? Is it, like, Russia? But Russia is selling weapons to both sides! <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, it's technically... Technically, it's Russia. Uh, Russia is on Armenia's side, but... Azerbaijan is getting Israel, Iran, Turkey... Um, and USA is, like, MIA. USA is busy with elections, which is works perfectly for this conflict. Anyways, let's continue. And the Azeris have been showing it off. This is an actual music video released by the Azeri military. The Armenians are rallying their people too. But what's making this particular fight different from all the other skirmishes is that other countries are getting involved in a big way. Azerbaijan. So you guys are uh, rightfully saying Iran and Russia support on both sides, and you, you're saying Russia backs both Azerbaijan and Israel too. Um, yeah, but the thing is that Iran has ties with both, Russia has ties with both, Israel has ties with both, but in this conflict, they're leaning more, Russia is leaning more towards Armenia, and Iran and Israel are leaning more towards Azerbaijan, which could change. Oh wow, the, 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 the Sunni dictator is speaking. Everybody's listen. Sunni theocracy. Big way. The symbol of Sunni theocracy, the, autumn, the, the Ottoman Emperor 
Okay. Speaking. Azerbaijanlı. Oh my God, this guy. I hate this guy so much. I hate Erdogan so much. Okay, he's saying we stand by our Azeri brothers in their fight to liberate their occupied lands. Kardeşlerimizin işgal altın. Oh my God, this guy. We stand by. Okay. Daki topraklarını kurtarma ve vatanlarını koruma mücadele. And protect their homeland. This guy, this guy, every time he find, there's no conflict around this region that happens that this this mofo doesn't want to get involved with. I mean, the same thing is about true about uh, you know Islamic Republic of Iran. And protect. Yay, more involvement outside of our borders. Great, more excuses. I wish there were more conflicts around Turkey so that we could spread our influence everywhere. Part of Turkey's connection to Azerbaijan is cultural. The Azeris are a Turkic speaking people. Yeah, so see, Turkic speaking, Turkic speaking, culture, ethnicity, language makes the tie. I know Azeris are Shia. But the tie between Azerbaijan uh, and Turkey is a lot stronger than Azerbaijan and Iran, especially because Iran has a separatist movement happening in its own province. And guess what? Guys, guess what is the name of the province in Iran that has, in, has a Turkish separatist movement in it? Anybody wants to guess? Anybody wants to guess? It's called Azerbaijan! <laughs> okay? And whoever came up with that name was not very smart because that <laughs> encourages it. Like, hey, this country is Azerbaijan. We're Azerbaijan. We're living under a theocracy and we want out. Maybe we should be part of Azerbaijan. I mean, we're Azeris. They're Azeris. Let's be Azeris together, right? So his like this is why um, Iran doesn't have a good relationship with its you know Azeri separatist movement, even though they pretend that they do. And you know the Azeris in Azerbaijan, the people in Azerbaijan, they want to, they have some sympathy towards Azerbaijani people in Iran, right? And this complicates the relationship between Iran. Uh, and Azerbaijan, again, every time I say Iran, I'm talking about the Iranian government, I'm not talking about the people, please just know that. It's hard every time to say Islamic Republic of Iran. Um, and that's why it was surprising to even some Iranians for the Islamic Republic to take, and especially because Amanistan has good relationship with Iran, Iran's go, you know, so it was surprising for a lot of people for in this specific conflict for all of a sudden Iran, Iran governments to take the Azeri side, especially because it's on the same side of Israel. 